Hey! Today I explain what I use to trace my perspective grids in Krita. It's a popular domain on the channel because you all saw me using this type of grids during my time lapses. In a nutshell, it's a set of grids I made and I just import them into Krita and it helps me to trace my perspective grids. It's really not rocket science. I already covered that topic a couple of years ago in a long video, the a comic page from A to Z in Krita. I will post the thumbnail here. But this video now will dig a little bit more on the topic. So before starting, I assume you already know the basics of perspective. Perspective. You know what? A vanishing point, an horizon line, the one point, two point, three point, etc. etc. system. If it's not already the case, I invite you to watch another basic tutorial on the topic and you can find them almost everywhere, even on basic books, uh, so it should not be a problem. I personally learned on this book by Andrew Loomis. Uh, it's called Successful Drawing, a very good one, but I can't show you the inside because it's not Creative Commons content. So let's start. So go in the description of the video and download the files. It's a zip, so decompress it somewhere on the memory of your device and in the folder of your choice. You should get a folder with a pack of PNG files at this point. I distribute them for free. It's licensed under public domain, so do whatever you want with them. Even commercial projects are accepted. So. How to use them? First, start by eyeballing your scene with the perspective system of your choice. It can be a storyboard, a sketch, or even while you are doing thumbnail. Once you have a good idea of your composition and view angle, I advise you to detect where will be your horizon line and where will be your vanishing point. You can trace on a temporary layer quick cubes here and there if you are not sure where the perspective is. The cubes will help you especially in scenes where the elements are organic shapes such as characters or landscapes. Then, when you have a good idea, you'll just use the grids I distribute to trace the perspective system. You just need to open them on your folder and drag and drop what you need over the canvas of Krita. You will see a contextual menu and select Insert as new layer. Then you can use the transform tool to adapt your grid to your need. Rescale, move, rotate. I use this method because it is just quicker for me than tracing grids manually, line after line. It's also really faster compared to the built-in feature Painting Assistant of Krita and has no performance issue. It's also a better method adapted to comic pages because I can use this way more than a single perspective system per page where the Painting Assistants are limited at one system per document. If you are interested to know more about my 2013 proposal for a perspective feature in Krita, you can read this article on my blog. Before ending the video, I would like to share some tips. To contain your perspective grids to one panel, start by creating your system using the grids. I put them into a layer group. You can also select the three layer and press Ctrl G to group them quicker. And now I trace a selection around the panel 
and not your selection can also be circular or non-rectangular. You can decide the shape freely. Then, with a selection, select the group layer and add a transparency mask. The transparency mask will automatically understand you want to limit this group to the area selected. Now you can move the grids inside the group and they will be always contained inside your panel. If you want to get a curved lens for your shot, you can use the transform tool of Krita. The mesh deform is excellent for that. Just inflate a little bit the corners, cut new segment with Ctrl Alt click over the edges, and this way you'll be able to curve your perspective system at will. And a final tip, if you need to turn off temporarily the color of your perspective group, just turn the blending mode to luminosity. It's a blending mode you'll find part of the HSY group. So I hope this pack of grids will be useful for your project. I could take the time to make this video thanks to my Patreon on LiberaPay, Patreon and TP. I mainly receive your funding when I release a new webcomic episode of Pepper and Carrot, but I keep the production of this type of video as free bonuses in between the episode. So feel free to join the supporters if you like this type of production, it really helps. You can also help me to promote this video and you know what to do depending the platform you're using. Sometimes it's a little thumbs up, sometimes it's a comment for referencing, sharing, etc. So thanks again and see you next time. Bye bye.